And here we go. The Saints are making an interesting move with the linebacker here. According to Mike Garofolo, the Saints have agreed to terms with former Super Bowl winning champion Willie Gay. To a one-year deal, they have signed him worth a max of $5 million. Now, Willie Gay's an interesting player. He played 62% of the Chiefs' snaps last season, and they're going to miss him. Obviously, a Super Bowl champion for a reason. He was a big part of their game plan defensively. And keep in mind, they were a very good defense this season. The Saints are getting a dog here. And in this video, we're going to break down everything you need to know about Willie Gay and how this helps them going forward. Before we jump into the video, though, make sure you guys do me a favor and comment down below a letter grade for the Chiefs uh, or the Saints so far this season I know they haven't done much at all and this might actually be their first signing uh, but give me a letter grade for it subscribe if you knew it's free it doesn't cost anything but without any further ado let's jump right into the video okay now the interesting thing here for the Saints is they have Demario Davis who is getting up there in age don't get me wrong so he's probably not going to be like Demario Davis will be that guy right but he's going to need someone to come in behind him and play a role and it will be Willie Gay a guy who is tenacious a guy that wants to win every single play and a guy that tries his absolute hardest on every single play as well as you see him here on this play specifically looks like he could be out of it but comes back in it makes a tackle wraps him up a great play there on Greg Dortch um, by Willie Gay again he's gonna be right here I mean he's just a very tenacious defender right but you add him into this linebacker core who is very good now watch this play here by Willie Gay I mean this is um, incredible like so you see how he's over here we have screen over here boom they're gonna throw it all the way across so he starts running this way he sees it he notices it let me go back on the other side boom and now at this point just get him down boom unbelievable job that by willie gay now you're bringing in a tenacious defender here in willie gay who has over 233 total tackles in his career five sacks two forced fumble four fumble recoveries and four interceptions as well as 19 pass deflections and 23 run stuffs as well now he's not overly great he's not an unbelievable player but he's a very versatile player he can play both sides in terms of dropping back into coverage going up for a run stop or even getting to the quarterback at times as well the man is very very dynamic and I think Saints fans are going to slowly start to fall in love with what he can bring here to New Orleans again absolute tenacious defender we're gonna dump down here to the left side and boom let's get him down quickly make sure Austin Eckler one of the premier uh, playmakers in the NFL has nowhere to go now you pair him up with Cam Jordan uh, with Carl Granderson who's looking like he could be really good and then you got Pete Warner and Demario Davis back here I mean this linebacker core could be one of the best in the NFL right read off here to Malik Willis reads it perfectly and ends up bringing him down for maybe a gain of two or three on third and five unbelievable right and then we go over to the Saints defensive stats this year. They actually rank number 22 in opposing rush yards allowed per game, right? So obviously they need to get better in these run situations. And Willie Gay has the speed to do so, right? They also gave up 4.4 yards per carry, which is 23rd most or worst in the NFL, right? So again, Willie Gay is going to contribute on multiple different, you know, aspects of this defense. They also rank number 29 in sack percentage. Hopefully, Willie Gay might get a sack or two. He's not going to be someone that can make a difference in that aspect of the game. Um, but overall, I think he's going to make this defense better, more versatile, and add so much more depth. And look at him getting hype on that play. You love to see that energy out of a linebacker. You can just tell he is fully invested in this game. Now, going forward, what do the Saints need to do? Obviously, Mike Thomas is gone. They have three wide receivers on roster in Rashid Shahid, Chris Olave, and A.T. Perry. I think A.T. Perry is in store for a big year. But you need more depth. Do they go and draft some guys? Probably. Do they sign some guys? They should. Um, but comment down below a couple of names you guys want the, the Saints to go and get, man. Subscribe if you're new. Join the family. Turn on post notifications. Hopefully, they continue to make some moves because there are a lot that need to be done at least over the next couple weeks. They got to bring some more guys in. But I'll see you in the next video. Peace.